Hey guys, what you see here is a regular old plain account page from the WooCommerce. As you see, it's a rather boring one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create something that looks like this. As you see, it's more visual and uh, looks more professional and nicer. So let's jump in. First thing I need to say is that we are using Cadence team. So the technique I'm going to show you is re related to the Cadence team, but you can use it basically on every decent team. If the team is well built, then the steps are probably the same. There are some differences, but uh, you will get the point what to do. So in order to accomplish this layout here, we need to add one plugin to your site. And this plugin is called Cadence Blocks. Therefore, let's go to the dashboard, Plugins, Add New, and search for Cadence Blocks. I have it already installed, but you can just push uh, Install Now button and click Activate. After that, go to the Pages, All Pages, and find your My Account page. Now let's customize it a bit. Firstly, we need to add a row from Cadence Blocks, as you see. Cadence Blocks row layout, just one row. And we're going to drag and drop this shortcode here. Next, let's add one block before. And it's going to be a row layout with four columns. Now you need to add a info box block here. And from the block settings, choose this template here. This text is irrelevant, so delete it. And here you should add the title of the block, for example, orders. Doesn't look very good, therefore, let's customize the block. Title settings, H3, font size 18 font family. You can leave it by default, but I'm going to use the Poppins font. I'll, I like it. Okay. Looks almost ready, but we need to change the icon from the media settings. Delete this icon and choose the icon you like. I'm going to choose the cart icon. Next thing, we need to link this box to the orders bay page. So let's open up WooCommerce settings, advanced, and these are the endpoints we need to use. First orders, click on the box again, and URL is going to be my account and orders. Let's update and see how does it look like? Okay, here it is, orders. And here are our orders. I promise it's going to be easier now since we're going to duplicate those boxes. One here, another one here, and the fourth one here. You can add as many boxes you like, just uh, be sure it looks good. So next one, edit account and icon. Mm, let's find out the proper end endpoint. Edit account. Just change it for edit account. Next one. Address, media settings, change icon for whatever you like. Find the proper endpoint. And change it here. Almost there, last one. It's For me, it's going to be logout if someone presses on this icon, he or she is going to be logged out. 
therefore I'm going to choose this endpoint here and replace that one here. Okay, let's update and preview it. Orders, account, address, and logout. Okay, almost. It seems though that those icons are too big for my taste. I'm going to make them smaller. Again, media settings, 30 pixels. Now let's copy and paste the styles. Copy styles, paste, and paste, and paste. Update, and let's preview. Much better. Now, the Cadence team has a title up here. I need to disable it. Therefore, I'm going to open up Cadence settings. Page title disable, page layout normal, content style unboxed, vertical padding disable. And now I'm going to add a row before that block here. Once again, row layout and pre-built library. I'm going to search for headers and I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to make it full width. This button is irrelevant. I'm going to delete it. Also, this text, I don't need it. I'm going to remove it. And my account. Update. Ah, one more thing. As you see, I'm going to refresh it. The header is too big, too high. Therefore, I'm going to make it smaller. Block settings, structure, pixels from here and 315 pixels will be enough for me. Next thing I need to do, I need to move this row higher. Uh, to accomplish that, I'm going to add negative margin. For example, let's try with 100 pixels and see how it shows up. Almost a bit more, I think, 20 pixels or so. So 120 pixels, I'm going to refresh. Okay, looks good for me. Next thing I need to do, I need to get rid of this sidebar here. To accomplish that, I'm going to open up the customizer. Let's see how the account page looks like. Okay. WooCommerce, my account layout, navigation layout above. As you see, the na navigation layout is here. But I think I do not need those here. If you need them, then you don't have to add this code I'm going to add. So this code here, you can find, it, find this code in the description of this video. I'm going to add it here and it removed the navigation. As you see, this is uh, the sidebar. I'm going to refresh it. Now it's not there. Orders, account, address, and logout. So far, so good. So maybe you want to change the background of this image. Open up the page. Click on the row. Background settings. Edit image. And now you can upload the image you, you, you want to show there. For example, this one. Background overlay. A bit darker like this and now when I take a look at the site there it is one more problem to solve I'm going to open up it in the private tab as you see this is the view for the logged out users and they can see this section with the columns here therefore we need to hide them from the logged out users we open up the page, we click here and choose the row layout. So all the boxes are 
select it now take a look at the visibility settings and activate the hide from logged out users if you update it and refresh the page then you'll see there is a login box but no not those boxes and if I log in then you can see all the boxes you need to sh need to see and log out confirmation and there it is so this is how you customize the WooCommerce account dashboard with a cadence theme but as I told you you can use the same technique with basically any decent team just install the cadence blocks use a Gutenberg and you're good to go if you find this video useful then please push the thumbs up and subscribe and you will see all the new videos sooner than the others. Meanwhile, see you later.